Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for an Audi Q5 S Line diesel. As you can see here, finishing this absolutely gorgeous blue, and with the side steps that really offset it beautifully. The car's in genuinely fantastic condition, but I'll go around the car for you, uh, starting at the front and then working my way around. The front of the car, really, really, really clean. Lights and lenses completely intact. Um, any marks you can see are there. A couple of suicidal flies. Bonnet itself, very, very, very clean. Hardly a stone chip anywhere on that. You know, certainly doesn't look like the miles it's done. This car's done 82,000 miles, but you'd never believe it looking at the car. Coming down the near side of the car first, absolutely clean as a whistle in the panel work. I did see one minuscule indentation, uh, but I will pick it up on for you. This is the purpose of the video. Front wing completely unmarked, near side front alloy, exceptionally clean with just the tiniest bit of uh, curbing right on the outside of the alloy, but certainly nothing that contracts in any way from the car. So coming down the remainder of the panel work here, I'll just try and show you because there was I did see one on the door, but it is absolutely minuscule, you'll hardly see it just there i mean it really is you've got to really really try and find it but it's uh so it's, it's tiny so, so now i'm being sort of ridiculously critical really rear alloy again incredibly clean just the tiniest sort of thumbnail size bit i can see on there but nothing nothing at all around the back of the vehicle again clean as a whistle around to the off side of the car. It's a bit glary, it's a lovely day but the sun does play merry hell with doing these videos unfortunately. But the off side here is again, it's like looking down a mirror on the side of the car here. It's so clean. The paintwork is so fresh and original which is lovely. Offside rear alloy, absolutely unmarked there. And then the panel right down this side. And hardly see any marks of any notes anywhere at all. It is so so clean. And then the final alloy again, really really good. So externally, we're looking at the car that sort of looks like it's done half the miles. In all honesty, it's in wonderful condition and a genuinely gorgeous looking car. We're parked in the shade now. The uh, camera tends to work better in the shade here. Huge boot in the back, beautifully finished inside. Of course, they they use the very nicest materials in there. You see there's 60 40 fold in the rear seats little tab handles up there just to pull those back to drop the seats but uh, very very nicely done coming to the back of the car now the car's a full set of original um, Audi mats fitted to the vehicle and you say you've got this lovely full black leather interior which is in really excellent condition there's loads and loads of rear leg room these have been particularly um, favored by families of course Coming to the front, front passenger door card again, looks absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, worth pointing out, my business partner has been driving this car on a daily basis, um, although he does hardly any miles at all, so it's not fully validated, I normally are for these videos, but still it's exceptionally clean. Front passenger seat there, so pretty much exhibits nowhere at all, that's obvious. Come to the driver's door card again, all in very, very nice condition. I'll just show the driver's seat, which, to all intents and purposes, shows pretty much nowhere at all. And they, they do build these things very, very well indeed. So, sat inside the car now, just to pan around the dashboard, but it is in fabulous condition, it really is. Obviously, lovely colour schemes, lovely textures. Um, all working absolutely beautifully. So you've got your dual zone climate control, heated seats there as well. But it's all in really, really fabulous order. If I just come up to the main binnacle there, hopefully you can see. 82,679 miles, and there's no warning lights on the dashboard at all, just the low fuel light currently, which we'll attend to. Um, but it really is a really lovely car, this one. It's been very, very well kept. What will follow this video will be a road test of this very car. 
Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for an Audi Q5, and it's the two litre turbo diesel, and it's the, uh, the S-Line model. This particular car's registered CX12 XML, and mileage at the start of this brief road test is 82,674 miles. The reason we do the road tests, as I say in all of the videos, is very simple. We just want customers to actually see the cars we're selling actually in operation prior to coming to see us. Uh, that way, if there's any issues relating to the car and its drive, then we can and we do relay them back to you. Uh, it's the whole point of the video. We know what it's like, you know, we cars generally look very, very nice in photographs, still photos, um, but People are willing to travel many, many, many miles these days uh, to go and see cars, only to find out quite often that there's a fundamental fault that you, you know, would have meant you'd never set off if you'd known. So hence, that's why we do it. It's also done on the very quiet country roads, very close to our premises. So hopefully, you'll be representative of what you'd feel yourself if offered a test drive on the car. Uh, as you'll know from the description of the vehicle in the advert the car's been very very well maintained um, and I have to say the very second you drive this car you know you, you feel that straight away engine bursts straight into life very smooth very quiet uh, completely steady um, sorry a friend of mine just drove past um, a very steady idle uh, pulls absolutely beautifully all the way through the rave range absolutely fantastic um, but very very quiet in operation too uh, great power delivery of course in all the way through to tons and tons and tons of torque so you can stay in much higher gears much longer um, the there are no warning lights at all on the dashboard uh, relating to the engine or for any other part of the car for that matter uh, temperature gauge running at half which is exactly where it should be on one of these cars and it is a very warm day today and the car's been running for quite some time as well so obviously well up to operating temperature engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox clutch on the car very smooth positive bike points exactly where it should be and there's no vibrations um, or change in engine note when the clutch is in or out is exactly the same. Likewise, the gearbox on the vehicle, I can't find an ounce of wear in it. Uh, really right, lovely tight gear change. Very, very good gear changes on these as well. It's, a, um, it's very precise, well judged. Synchro motion is very good on them as well. Um, it's, but it's, it's just a simple, easy box to use. You can't get lost in one of these. So following tractors today for some reason, let's say that it's generally very quiet, but it's harvest time and that means there's lots of tractors about, so it's going to be slightly slower than usual, but I'll get up to speed in due course. Um, but as I said, the point of the video is to try and pick up on any kind of wear or tear in you know any of the sort of major components, but there's nothing in the gearbox. It's just a lovely, good quality gear change on these vehicles. And as I said, can't find any wear in it at all. Steering of the car, again, a strong point of these cars. It's, it's a very good power steering system, uh, very accurate, very precise, and very well. Uh, it's in sort of perfect harmony, really, with the chassis of the vehicle as well. It's uh, um, it's not over aggressive or over quick, but it's not sort of slow in operation either. Um, it's, they said they've, they've, they've tuned it very, very well indeed. Um, I can't feel anywhere in it. There's no vibrations coming back through the steering at all. Um, bear with me one second. And this is up to so say, I'm certainly up the legal limit. There's no vibrations coming back through the steering, uh, which is a bit of a pet hate of mine, in all honesty. I can't stand it. Uh, but there's nothing at all on this one. But it just, again, as with the rest of the car, feels, you know without any wear at all any noticeable wear suspension of the vehicle as i said you know it's very very comfortable car you know it doesn't roll a lot it, it's very you know it's it go around the corners nicely um nice and flat 
but you don't have a, a sort of wooden stiff ride to complement it. It absorbs the minor bumps particularly well, actually. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, if you look at the ones which have got, you know, the very low profile tyres on, uh, they can have quite a choppy ride, but this is very, very, very comfortable indeed, I have to say. The brakes on the car, by the way, lovely solid brake pedal, no pulsing, uh, no vibrations coming back through. And when you hit them hard, the car comes down straight and true. There's no, it doesn't pull left or right. So it suggests all in very, very good order there. What's also noticeable is just how quiet the car is as well. Um, you know, again, what I'm looking for really on road test is just if any kind of door seals or windscreen seals have been damaged. But here I am at the legal limit and it's one of the quietest cars I've ever driven at this sort of speed. It is very, very quiet indeed. Know, road noise is hardly there there's hardly any wind noise and you just can't hear the engine at all at these speeds it's, you know it's a wonderfully refined vehicle um, looking around inside the car as you'd expect it's a very very well built car I and mean, they've got a reputation for it um, there's no squeaks or rattles obviously inside the car but it's just a very nice place to sit and operate a car from you know obviously this is a very high specification vehicle as well um, but everything that I've pressed thus far has worked exactly as it should Air conditioning pumps out lovely cold air. That's, you know, obviously it's put to the test on a day like today, uh, but all the functions working very, very nicely indeed. Obviously the heated seats, I've checked those, they're all absolutely fine. Uh, I love the dashboards on them, typical Audi colouring and the, you know, the detailing of it, very nice indeed. Uh, and obviously you've got the digital speedo as well as the main speedo on there as well, but all the functions, all the pixelation and all the readouts, working exactly as they should. As I said at the start of the video, the whole point of doing these videos is really just so you get to see the car actually in operation. Um, but as I said, it is critical, so if there's something wrong, I do mention it, but there's nothing on this. Genuinely nothing. It drives absolutely beautifully. You, know, you would never have believed it's done the miles it's done, which isn't high for one of these, but you know, it's, uh, it's priced accordingly. But it's... Um, you know, it, it feels like a car that's done 20,000 miles in all honesty. It just feels tight as a drum, really does. Um, as ever, if I've missed something out on the video, and then obviously please don't hesitate, do give us a call and we'll happily answer any questions you might have about this car.